you'll notice in this video that I keep looking up. Um, what I'm looking at here is the bull I killed in 2009, archery bull. It's presently the Utah State record, typical. Uh, it's a 408 and 58 gross and 292 and 58 net which makes it the number one Utah typical archery bull ever killed in the state of Utah. This record is not a record that I'm jealous of. In other words, being an outfitter, I believe records were made to be broken. And if the records aren't being broken on a continuous basis, then we're stagnating. Um, there's a lot of outside factors such as drought and range conditions, seasonal factors that we can't control, but we can certainly control management. And in the past few years, the state of Utah has lowered the age classification of these big bulls on most of these limited entry units. And it's not something I'm real happy about. I don't think the sportsmen of Utah should be happy about this either. You know, when you wait 10 or 15 years to draw one of these permits, you want to make damn sure that there's some big animals out there for you to harvest. And so I do hope this record is, is, is broken. And I hope all the records are, are, are broken. What uh, sportsmen need to demand is that good management takes place and that your voice is heard in what you want in your wildlife programs. It's your money, it's your time and your effort that you're putting into trying to draw these permits uh, and, and your dreams. And if you finally draw a permit and the unit you've been trying to draw for all these years and the quality of animals are not there, then it's gonna be a big disappointment to you. These permits are basically a once in a lifetime deal anymore. It takes you 10 or 15 years to draw. You've got a five year waiting period after that draw before you can start putting in for that particular hunt again. 20 years is a long time and anything can happen in that time period. So make the most of what you've, what you've got when you've got that tag in hand. And I know that at Record Book Outfitters we can help you to find your dream bull or buck or once in a lifetime species. We're some of the best guides and outfitters in the state. We have a tremendous amount of experience. We think outside the box and we hunt and know a lot of different areas that other outfitters in the state are not familiar with. And so if you get a good tag, be well worth your time to give us a call. The bull in this first video is a big 7x7. Seven seven. It's in the oak in the fall, the late season. It's very difficult to see the bull, but the bull, I was walking through the oak and I basically stumbled right into two great big bulls. This was the bigger of the two. Two stickers on either side coming out seven or eight inches uh, coming off the main beam near this sword point. The bull is in the mid to low to mid 390s. Uh, just a tremendous bull, good mass, really good mass. Excellent uh, main beam length. He's probably 60 inches on the main beam. Uh, is if he has any weaknesses it's in his width uh, a good solid all-around bull and uh, we'll be looking for this bull this year he should be a really a tremendous bull pushing the 400 or better this season
the bull in this next video is a big six by seven bull. It's in the it's feeding in the oak. Um, the video was taken in early July two years ago. The bull in this video is going to score somewhere in the high 370s. Um, you still have a little bit of growing to do at the time the video was taken. And this year that bull should be pushing 400 inches with the genetics that I've seen in this area. I believe this was a young bull. I believe he was six years old, five or six years old. He was a six by seven. He had an extra on the inside of the, his uh, third point on the, I believe it was his right side. And he has growth points starting on his main beam between his fifths and the end of his main beam. He should be coming in at a 7x8 this year. Uh, tremendous genetics, young bull, uh, but it should be an outstanding bull this year. In this video you're going to see two bulls uh, just after they've shed their velvet. Uh, 
their antlers are light colored, kind of take on the darker hue of rubbing in the oak and the, and the pines. These two bulls, even though they're a long ways away, they're over a mile away, it's very difficult when taking video footage, particularly in the morning, early morning, when you have to slow down your shutter speed to combat the low light conditions. Um, it affects the way the video camera focuses and uh, also the time of year you get heat waves and, and cold waves coming up off of the, the ground as you shoot through the atmosphere. So it's really difficult to get good clear pictures of these animals without encroaching into their habitat just before the hunting season, which is something that we try to avoid at all costs. These bulls, um, one is a 6x7 and one is a 6x6. Subsequently, during the hunt, the 6x6 broke off of it, broke off at part of its sword point, and we passed the bull. We figured he would have been right around 392 net, typical. The 6x7 uh, we did see but were never able to get a shot at the animal and we figured he would be in the high 390s gross and somewhere in the high 380s uh, net with his his seventh deduction. Both animals tremendous tine length, tremendous main beam length, great mass, um, not super width the 6x7 was a little bit more narrow than the 6x6. Uh, both of these animals will come in well over 400 inches this year.
this next bowl is what I call a 60-60-60-60 bowl. I believe this bowl has 60 inches of mass, he's 60 inches wide, and he has a 60 inch main beam. That's 240 inches in those measurements alone. When you have a bull with tremendous tine length and that kind of mass and width, and uh, you're going to have a tremendous bull. After carefully evaluating this bull, I believe this bull was in the high 390s uh, as a high 390 net typical. I saw the bull last year which would have been the year after this video was taken and he had put on significant time length. I did not get good video or pictures of this bull last year. If this bull comes in again this year with some added growth he could be pushing easily pushing the state record typical bull and if he put on as much as 20 inches of growth over the previous year he could be pushing the world record typical bull. That's a lot of factors that need to line up. Um, I believe this bull is to be about eight or nine years old. Um, and that's the time frame where the bulls can go either direction. Um, they can add on more mass and lose tine length. They can add tine length and add mass. We'll just have to see what this bull comes in at this year. But either way, he's a trophy that nobody, nobody would ever pass up. And if you get the right limited entry permit for Utah, there's a good chance that we can kill this bull this year. As you will see in the video, the wind was a little bit fickle, and this bull spooked when it winded us. Uh, thankfully, I did see him again in this area last year, after the hunts were over. So hopefully this year, if we get a hunter for this limited entry unit, we'll be able to get right on this bull.